Hey everybody, video here for you today. Hope everybody's doing good. I'm doing okay. I actually shaved yesterday, so things are getting done. We're going to go visit another Southwest Ancient America site here, and then I'm going to share just a quick video at the end here. We're going to go down to Colorado today. This is Chimney Rock right here. Some of you may be familiar with this. It sits right down here on the end of a point here. And this is on a ridge. You notice this? We'll take a look at that a little later in the video. What some of you may not know is right down here, there's an Ancient America site. This is the Great Kiva at Chimney Rock, as it is called. What a view of the whole area must have been for the people who built this, the native Pueblans, about a thousand years ago. And I would have to say, most likely, they were doing astronomy from up here. I'm curious how many people live out here and have never heard of this site, but here it is from overhead. Google Earth kind of distorts it when you get into some angles, but here it is from overhead. Great Kiva, probably doing astronomy in many rooms up here. But certainly, pretty cool site overlooking the whole area here. Here's a view from up on the ridge line. And this is why it's called Chimney Rock up here. Here's a view from the construction up here, way up high on top of this ridge here. The Great Kiva down here, a couple Kivas up here. The purpose of those has to be the heavens looking at the skies. There is the view looking out towards the rocks up here. Here's a look at the Kiva. You notice they have different places notched here or marked. Certainly they were aligning something up here. I think these Kivas came from the south. There's 5,000 year old Kivas at Corral, Peru. So people from the south brought these up and spread out over this whole area. Here's a diagram when this place was first researched, I believe. You know, I had a couple thoughts here, but the first one, when I looked at this, this popped into my head. Turtle of creation, the Mayans, the circle with the three stones in it. Is that what that represents? Well, that is just a guess. It's just the first thing that popped into my mind, so I thought I'd mention it. Here is kind of a panoramic view of the site. People here, about a thousand years ago, just like the Mayans in Mexico and Mesoamerica, were tracking the stars, watching the sun and the moon and the planets. What a spot to do uh, observation from here, astronomy. Just as other places in Mexico and Mesoamerica and the American Southwest, I'm sure the natural landscape and these features combined with the celestial bodies made for some pretty important alignments. Now, I have talked about Mesa Verde in Colorado more than a few times. And Colorado has some ancient rock art for sure, some petroglyphs here. And here is a pick from the 1800s, a homesteader or somebody here, a settler, and some ancient ruins here. I thought this was a cool place to cover in Colorado. I guess there's a little parking lot up here where you can come up here and visit. I think this is open May, middle of May through the middle of September. I think that's what I read, but... This year, well, I'm not sure how that's going to work. But this point here, I got to thinking. Here are the ruins right here. But you notice here, the end of this point kind of comes out, comes down. And then it's pointing to the distance down here. What is that pointing to? Well, here's the night of June 21st. Where does the sun rise on the summer solstice at Chimney Rock? Well, this place points right to the sunrise. On the summer solstice, just like Serpent Mound, just like Medicine Wheel pointed to the winter solstice, that video I did maybe a week and a half ago. But after 200 ancient America videos, I'm finally getting this stuff figured out. These points, these natural alignments, archaeoastronomy, that's the way these places work. Well, I just thought I would feature this site in Colorado. I've never talked about it, and it's always cool seeing new stuff from overhead, and it reminded me of a video I uploaded maybe four years ago, just a quick two minute one. It's from Archaeology Southwest. They make their video shareable, but it's about the wonderment, about seeing stuff, ancient stuff from the sky. So I'm gonna play that here on the way out. Hope you thought this video was cool. And you all have a very safe day. I'm Adriel Heisey, and on behalf of myself and Archaeology Southwest, I'd like to welcome you to From Above. Flight is mostly utilitarian in our time, 
However, those of us who fly small craft, where comforts are minimal and the elements prevail, know something different. Flying evokes the mythical. Moving low and slow over the land, we touch into the domain of shamans and spirits, of dreams and deities. Being free in space seems to render time fluid as well. Earth processes appear to be momentarily paused in the long flow of planetary history. Places of people also seem beyond the calendar's reach. Ideas like Tuesday feel somehow absurd. From above, traces of human activity from long ago are strangely alive. Trails, gardens, earth drawings, game fields, homes, villages. These photographs invite us to pause in our brief moment in the sun and reflect on the richly layered past in our midst. I find great satisfaction in using technology to heighten awareness and appreciation. My long-term and ongoing collaboration with Archaeology Southwest, one aspect of which you are seeing in this exhibition of images, is rooted in our mutual commitment to raising awareness of the meaning and value of the places of the past. Archaeology Southwest's holistic approach to exploring and safeguarding these places resonates with me, as does their pragmatic tenet, leave some places untouched, out of respect for our present ignorance. I fly for wonder and I photograph for understanding. I hope these images evoke your own sense of wonder and appreciation. I would be honored if you chose to bring my photographs into your life for the benefit of Archaeology Southwest, in support of their nonprofit mission to explore and protect the places of the past.